Maxine and Sally joined me now. That looked amazing. It really did. It's absolutely fit. What a perfect place. It takes you back. Yeah. Now, we're looking at exercise. A lot of it to do with the bottom. You need to get that perfect bottom. Yes, to get the perfect bum, we need to be walking upstairs, walking up escalators wherever we can. But there's a little trick. Get your whole foot on the step so that your heel goes down as well. Yeah. You'll notice a difference quite quickly because your bum will start to to feel it, but mm. persevere and make it your mantra. Right. Not only that, so we've got resistance fans here today. Yeah, and we saw the girls in the pool, didn't we? saw the girls in the pool. Now, if you haven't got access to a swimming pool or you can't swim, this is a really good alternative. This is weight training right. without the weights. Okay. Would you like a little demo? Please. Okay. Yes. yes. So, good one for the legs. Tie a knot in your band. Yeah. Underneath the arches of your feet. Okay. Okay. Now, steady yourself. I've not got anything here at the moment, but... So pull your knee up. Uh -huh. Now you can feel in your legs the muscles that are working. Right. So keep that band nice and taut. The outside of your thigh, push out, push out, push out. Now one for the inside of your thigh, push forward. How much I hope this doesn't come you? under. <laughs> How many should you do? Once you start feeling the pain, push through that pain barrier. Right because that's when your muscles are really working. Go for as long as you can. You're in charge of your resistance and the amount of times that you do it. So do what feels good for you. Push yourself, but don't kill yourself. And then we can work on time and resistance yeah. going forward. It's really good if you do that as well. I mean, I don't know, we, we do these in class. We do, yeah. And it's a killer. It is a killer, yeah. but it actually feels really good. I mean, yeah. you, can, you can see results, especially in the arms. You, you can, can really do it to results. music. You can do it with your arms, with your legs, so you know that when the song's finished, that's kind of the I end think of your good. training yeah, session. Your, get your favourite song, your favourite banging track. Yeah. <laughs> As Maxine says. <laughs> there you know. Um, and then you can really do it. Then you know how much you've done and then you can maybe do two. That's right. Or three. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. You can really push good. yourself as, as time goes by because you will be getting fitter. Your muscles will be getting used to the exercise. Yeah. So, yeah, and you've got to yeah, use it dialogue off a wee bit. Now, look, today in the papers, they were talking about popcorn. And a lot of people, you know, remember Madonna said that she lost weight by eating popcorn. Mm. But they're saying stuff that you buy in the cinema is absolutely full of sugar. Five days worth of sugar. Mind you, look at the size well, of the that's portions. It. Exactly. Um, I think popcorn is sometimes classed as a healthy snack. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure why. Mm. I think this comes from the... Uh, if it has no fat and no sugar in it, yes. but it's empty calories, there's not really any goodness for it mm. uh, for you in there. So definitely, the cinema sugar is loaded with sugar and salt. Yes. Um, the cinema popcorn, rather. So avoid that, especially if you're on the bikini promise. The only way I would advocate eating it is if you've got one of the little uh, air poppers at home, and then you can pop your own popcorn. Oh, no, okay. A snack, um, and it just the hot air sure. pops it. No. But actually, I would always prefer going for a healthier snack so a handful of nuts and raisins like I said in the video yeah you can be tummy hungry or you can be head hungry right. and head hungry is when you know you've had a meal an hour or so ago so you You're don't really need a big yeah. meal but your blood sugar level has dropped and that's when we tend to snack and right. that's a survival instinct that kicks in sure um, so just work out what kind of hungry you are and if you're craving a snack then go for a little portion of nuts and raisins and that will lift your blood sugar levels yeah and keep you going until meal time. And those things, apart from being full of sugar, are really noisy. Will cinema stop <laughs> selling food? That's really noisy. It's crazy. It drives me mad. You can't hear the, you can't hear the movie. It's nuts. These are great. These are really, really good. And the good thing about it for, with both of you is it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. Yes. We enjoy ourselves. Especially when you're doing high heels. Yeah, well, I've definitely mentioned this. If you've got weight training without the weights, your own fits into your handbag, you can take them anywhere. That works really nicely. Excellent. Thank you both very much indeed for now. And if you would like to follow our Bikini Promise plan, Maxine's fitness videos are available online for you. It's all there. Sally's recipes are on the website too, and loads of helpful tips and advice. So why not log on and get involved? It is free, and it only takes a few minutes a day, and it will, I promise you, change your life.